For the past few weeks, I've been rocking a pair of these Bose Frames Tenors Smart Glasses. These, they have little speakers that kind of direct the sound uh, into your ear. Bose has a fancy name for this. They call it Open Audio Technology. I have been wearing these things everywhere. I truly wanted to get a feel of how it would be as a daily driver on a day-to-day -day basis. Rolled down to the beach. I went for a hike. I even took them out shopping. Yes, I wore them inside. I wanted to keep these on as much as I possibly can to give you guys an accurate idea of what they sound, feel like, their build quality, and whether they're worth your money or not. One awesome feature I wasn't really expecting was these little babies. Ability to block out nearby conversations. I was stuck in line, listening to this blabbing blabbing going on by people behind me. And you know, the conversations you just, you don't want any part of. So what did I do? One click slide on my, with my finger and I had the sweet sound of Beastie Boys Sabotage flowing into my ears. Let's dig into these and see how they work. What's in the box? Obviously, you get these cool glasses. You'll get a carrying case and soft cleaning cloth, a proprietary charging cable. We'll get into this a little bit more. Let's talk about the build quality. We're looking at the second generation Bose Frames audio glasses. These were first released around 2019. The Bose Frames come in several different styles. The second gen tenor, the Soprano, which is kind of a cat eye look and a pair of sports glasses. At this time, all three retail for about $249. However, I've seen them on sale for as low as $149. The frames, they're pretty tough. They're shatter resistant nylon in a gloss black finish. They can pick up some fingerprints. Personally, I'd love to see them in a matte black finish to tone down the tendency to get fingerprinted. Overall, I like the style. And the gloss finish seems to be pretty resistant to scratches. I've dropped them a couple times. No marks, no scuffs. They feel durable and not cheap. However, due to the batteries, they do feel a little bit chonky on the sides. You can definitely tell when you're holding these, they are a premium product. When I look at a pair of glasses, one of the things that is a must in having premium glasses is having polarized lens. Boas, polarized lenses, hit the mark. You have choice between three different colored lens options. These are the smoked ones. They have a mirrored silver and a blue mirrored. They're all available for purchase on the Bose website. They're easily removed. You just pop the old lens out that way, no problem. And they come right out, pop the new ones in, you're good to go. I know there's some of you out there that need a prescription option. And guess what? Boom, Bose has it. Just pop over to the Bose website and you'll be presented with a few options for anyone that needs a prescription lens. While you're on the Bose site, you can virtually try these on. Actually, you can try on any of their pairs. You take a picture, choose the pair of glasses you want, and see if you look awesome, or maybe that set doesn't quite fit you right and you look like a clown. I don't know, but go try it out. It's kind of fun to play with anyways. I feel like I need to bring up the case. It's not that it's a bad case, but I really feel like Bose missed an opportunity with the second generation glasses. Case is rigid, hard plastic, and has a soft interior and a magnetic lid. It'll definitely protect the glasses, but it's so large. So don't really plan on putting it into your pocket. There's no way, look at this thing. It's another example of chonky. You're gonna most likely leave this case probably at home, in the car, maybe in your backpack. Now, here's my complaint. 
This is not even a deal breaker, but it sure could have made the user experience that much better. Two words, wireless charging. With a bulky hard case, they have an excellent opportunity to create a better uh, consumer experience with the convenience of simply dropping, well, not like that, but dropping glasses into the case with a battery and have it have a wireless charger. Bose could completely have eliminated this. Let me see if I can show you guys. Proprietary charging cable that connects to the glasses and simply put a USB-C charger on the case. Bose, I hope you're listening for the next gen glasses. Let's talk about some specs. Weight. 1.76 ounces on your head. Feels like a normal pair of glasses. Not uncomfortable. Definitely, definitely acceptable. Water resistance. Kind of. They're IPX2, which is honestly not the highest IPX rating you can put on an item. It's drip and sweat resistant, they call it. So the speakers are back here, right? So I... I I'm pretty sure during like a light rainstorm, sprinkling, anything like that, the glasses should be more than fine. However, if you're in a pool, swimming around, maybe you're on your floaty, and you drop them in the water, eh, it's pretty iffy if they're gonna survive. I'd be diving in and pulling them out of the water as fast as I could. But um, for casual wear, yep, definitely, good to go. Listening time, that's a big one, right? How long are these things gonna last? Well. I was getting about five hours out of them. I listen, uh, I would say moderate, uh, moderate high volume most of the time. Um, and you know, if you're listening lower, you're probably gonna get the rated five, five and a half hours of listening time. I think that, that's the spec on these, five and a half. Charge time says about an hour. Got it, it, it was an hour. It was actually under an hour most of the time because uh, I didn't drain it all the way down in my general use. A couple of times I took it all the way down to zero, plug it back in and I was sitting right at that hour timeline. So how do they sound during phone calls? Well, they have beamforming microphones and I placed quite a few calls on it just to verify clarity and they sounded good. No one had a problem listening. Um, the vocals were clear, everyone understood. It wasn't cutting out or anything weird. So did a good job there. Bluetooth range, how far away can you go with these? I was honestly over the rated distance. Uh, I was definitely beyond 30 feet, as, and that's what Bose is saying these will do. Um, however, I was outside, and there are other factors that affect how far you can go, how many objects are in the area, whether you're outside or inside. If you're inside, you're gonna get less range due to interference from other devices in your house. Uh, the walls, uh, they can all shorten that range dramatically. But they, they definitely hit the mark, and range and quality um, even at 30 feet, it was excellent. No drops, no hiccups, no glitching music, anything like that. So these are utilizing Bluetooth 5.1, A2DP, HFP, AAC. No Aptex HD, no LDAC. Um, and honestly, I don't believe that these glasses need LDAC or the Aptex HD codecs. They sound great for, for audio glasses without the codecs. And I don't believe that the codecs would actually help um, improve the sound quality over where they're currently. Let's talk about some of the usage and features that are actually on the glasses themselves. So you have a volume slider. You can turn it up, turn it back down by just sliding your finger back and forth. When you hit max volume, it'll actually give you a little beep letting you know, hey, these things are maxed out. You're not going any further. You can slide all you want. It, it won't go any further. So you can double tap it and it'll bring up your assistant such as Siri, Google, um, you have this button on the bottom this side. The button, you give it one click, it'll play, it'll pause, two clicks, it'll go to the next song if you're listening to music, three clicks, it'll go back. Um, say you're getting a phone call, how do, how do you pick it up? Just tap it once. Quick and easy, picks up the phone. Going to hang up, just give it another click and you're done. What do I have to say about the Bose tenors? I, I like them. I like them. I think they're a decent quality. The price is right, especially if you pick it up on sale. 
like I said, they look for it around $149 mark, and it's an excellent buy. You get the polarized lenses. They're comfortable. I tend to grab these when I run out the door and um, as my normal sunglasses. And obvious benefit is if I'm like stuck somewhere and I'm a little bit bored, I can quickly just flip on some tunes and, and kick back and relax. Kicking by the pool, you know, kicking out at the beach. You just got your glasses, you have your music, and you're ready to go. They give you a great audio experience for what they are. Compared to all the smart glasses, like I said, these are the best sounding to me. And these are my normal daily drivers. And I take these, well, I, I should say, I did take these all the time. These are the Sound Liberty Pro 3s. I really like them. I think they're a great value for what they are as well. They, these two kind of battle each other. If I am looking for something of uh, higher quality, I'll throw on these. They're portable. It fits in my pocket and easy to throw in. But I'll also throw on these, and they're, they're kind of going back and forth. I do, do enjoy the Bose Tenors. I plan to continue to wear them. Would I suggest these? Yeah, I, I would suggest these. If you're interested in a set of Bose frames, I put affiliate links in the description. Head over there. Watch for the sales. Let me know what your thoughts are if you end up picking up a pair. And thanks for watching.